good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Cities of Western Armenia are up here. The Artsakh village of Sokhtorashen should not be devastated. The phenomenon of immigration of Armenians in Bitlis province. Turkey is trying to put pressure on Armenia to sign a document on Artsakh remaining in the church of Azerbaijan, Safratian. A Syrian army entered the areas lost 10 years ago, liberating four cities. Burakan's floating islands are in danger. The Armenian Patriarch of Jerusalem presented Joe Biden with a plate made of Armenian pomegranates. A music for space and hope. A special project will be implemented in a border settlement of Artsakh and Sunik. The city of Arabkir in Western Armenia is located to the right of Euphrates River between the towns of Akan and Harbert, about 70 kilometers north to Malatya. The location of the city is high and picturesque. It has a healthy air. It is a watery. There is a little drinking water. There is known for the fruits, especially grapes. There are silver mines near Arabkir. A significant part of inhabitants were engaged in agriculture, growing cotton, fruit arcades, and silk worms. Arabkir is one of the centers of Armenian writing. Several manuscripts were written here and the 15th and 17th centuries, along with the Armenians of hundreds of other settlements in Western Armenia, the Armenians of Arabkir were also subjected to deportation and extermination by Turkish pogromists, and many quarters of the city were completely devastated. Sakhtorashen, a village in Martin region of Artsakh, in the 1890s there were 65 houses and 484 inhabitants. Today there is one house in the village of Sakhtorashen in which the only inhabitants of the village are the spouses Maxim Narcissian and Silva Khachatrian. They are engaged in cattle breeding and gardening in the village from which they receive income. Children and grandchildren visit them every day. Together we decided that a village should not be devastated. Western Armenia highly appreciate this majestic appearance of the Armenians, but it should be understood understood that for the most important reason of the preservation of the villages are infrastructure and economic development. The phenomena of migrant work and immigration have a history of many centuries among the Armenians of Daron, Ottoman Armenia and other regions. However, the rates of immigration oscillated rapidly after 1877 and 1878 Russian-Turkish War. This was a result of intense persecution experienced by Armenians at the hands of both the Ottoman authorities and local Kurdish tribes, massacres both legal and extrajudicial taxation, land grabs and plunder, as well as the panic social economic crisis in the region caused by underdevelopment, which resulting in a widespread loss of land ownership and a fall in the probability of livestock farming. In 1875, Rafi, the prominent Armenian author and orator, described the phenomenon of Armenian emigration as the chief cause. Behind immigration is the living condition of Armenians in Ottoman Armenia. Every year, thousands of youths leave Van, Murj, Bitlis, Erzurum and other provinces, heading for Istanbul to earn a living for their families. This flow of migrants increases proportionally over the worsening of living condition for the people in their native lands. Read the full article on the website following the link. Turkey is trying to put pressure on Armenia through negotiations so that Armenia agrees to sign a document stating that Artsakh will be on the territory of Azerbaijan. This was stated by archaeologist Ruben Safratian. I assess the bilateral agreement by have been reached as a beginning of a new stage. The initiative to move to the second stage comes from Turkey. Turkey has two goals. First of all, it is important for Turkey that Armenia remains in the negotiation process so that it is shown that there is a dynamic in the negotiation process. Secondly, Turkey entering their negotiations with Armenia decided not to open the border to establish diplomatic relations, but to have Armenia agree to sign a document stating that Artsakh will be on a church of Azerbaijan. I think Turkey is solving this problem at a stage and they will try to prolong the negotiation process as much as possible in order to put pressure on Armenia, he said. By order of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, the Syrian armed forces entered areas of the country that had lost control of almost a decade ago. According to the latest data, additional forces of regular Syrian army have entered the cities of Mandish, Tel Rifat, and Ain al-Arab, which the Turkish army plans to completely clear from PKK. The national flags of Syria are already flying to these cities. Syrian army soldiers and heavy equipment took positions next to PKK, fighters on the heights around Ain al-Arab. It is also reported that the Turkish armed forces are in a state of combat training along the contract line. At the most, Bashar Assad's units are located in a district that are targeted by the Turkish army, as well as by the Syrian National Army, supported by Ankara. 
Lake Turnalli Kerine Burak and Solham province of Western Armenia is one of the favorite places of nature lovers. This is one of the nature monuments of Burak and today it is very properly protected by the danger for visitors to climb the island. In this lake there are three islands that float in the river that float in the water under the influence of wind or as a result of human intervention. For this reason this territory was named Floating Islands. In 2003 natural monuments was declared and taken under protection. Visitors who will come to see the islands want to climb them which causes outrage among residents of their surrounding areas. According to local residents, people are forbidden to climb on islands as they are protected by Nature Protection and the National Parks Department. Armenian Patriarch of Jerusalem, Archbishop Nurhal Manukyan, presented U.S. President Joe Biden with a plate made of Armenian pomegranates. The Ambassador of Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Rev. Korin Baldasarian, wrote about this on his Facebook page. During a personal conversation with Biden, the Patriarch thanked him for the recognition of the genocide of Armenians and discussed other topics. On the initiative of the Union of Composers of Armenia, with the support of Galuskul Penkian Institute, the project Music for Peace and Hope will be held on July 23, 27, in the border settlement of Sunik and Artsakh, the final concert of which will be held on July 27 in Stepanakert. A number of composers, led by the chairman of Union of Composers of Armenia, Aram Satyan, will present their work to the audience in their own performances. The concert in Stepanakert will take place in a concert hall of the music college named after Sayat Nova. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.